When talking about TVs, I'm sure that the first brand that comes to anybody's minds is either Samsung, Sony or LG. And rightfully so, these companies have been making the best quality TVs throughout the years, thus making them a common household name when it comes to anything electronics. Today we have Samsung's new R-series TV and the one I have with me is the 55-inch 4K UHD Smart TV and uh, talking about the price, despite being an entry-level 4K option in the US that comes for some $500, this one falls in the mid-range segment for around $1000 in India, Nepal and other South Asian regions. Well, we're not off to a very good start here, but let's find out if this R-CD Samsung TV is worth all your money. The design of the Samsung RU7100 is exactly what you'd expect from any modern day television. It features a slim design and thin bezels all around with an ever so slightly bigger bezel on the bottom due to the Samsung branding. Underneath the branding, you'll find the TV controller button and the remote control sensor. Using the button, you can change channels, toggle volume, change the content source or power off the device. Moreover, the speaker grill runs below the branding as well. Cable management is fortified with four gaps near the bottom of the TV, so your setup will not look mismanaged or mess up the room's aesthetics. The special clip clamps the wires on the stand that further adds to cleaner setup. Moving on to the build quality, the material used for the TV's back is plastic, with subtle horizontal ridges giving it a nice looking finish. In our case, we installed the TV on a stand instead of mounting it on the wall. Now the display. Is it any good? Well, the answer is an unsurprising yes. Because, well, Samsung is the king of displays. And this 55-inch 4K UHD panel produces good images as advertised. There are four picture modes for contextual viewing, dynamic, standard, natural, and movie. Additionally, it supports HDR10, HDR10+, and the HLG standards for darker darks and brighter whites. However, it lacks white color gamut, short for WCG, which I think is strange because most HDR-enabled TVs come bundled with it. WCG is an increase in color range with more shades of each color like uh, redder reds or bluer blues, etc. So with WCG missing, the color reproduction on it is not on par with higher-end models. However, without a side-by-side -side comparison, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, so this is not a deal-breaker anyway. In spite of this, watching content on this TV is an amazing experience. Thanks to the aforementioned HDR support, videos look vivid and with blacker blacks and brighter whites. It has a remarkable contrast ratio due to its VA panel. The contrast ratio is made better here with a tech called UHD dimming, which analyzes each frame to improve and optimize the LED backlight. Color reproduction, sharpness, and saturation are fantastic as well. For better colors, the RU7100 also embeds Samsung's pure color technology for natural color reproduction. It focuses on adjusting secondary CYM colors rather than primary colors, akin to most other TVs. The specifications also mentions motion rate, uh, which is just a fancy name given by Samsung for refresh rate. And here in those, Samsung says that the RU7100 has an advanced 120 motion rate, but this is just a mere 60 hertz panel. So be aware of the fake 120 hertz refresh rate on budget and mid-range 4K TVs. This advanced 120 motion rate can be toggled on or off under the Auto Motion Plus option found inside the Expert Picture settings. You can set it to off, auto, or custom. Under custom, you can set a specific judder reduction to reduce choppiness values and turn on or off LED clear motion to reduce overall brightness to stimulate higher frame rates. However, a smooth video isn't something you would always want. For example, I watched the West Coast chaos scene from the classic 1978 Superman movie and everything was just unnaturally smooth in a way that ruins your viewing experience. This motion smoothing feature is popularly known as soap opera effect and no wonder, even Tom Cruise wants to turn it off. However, there are instances where this uh, feature can benefit you like when you're watching TV programs like sports or events or parades and gaming. For PS or Xbox gamers out there, you get a dedicated game mode which provides low input lag than usual while the backlight flickers at 120Hz with an overall dimmed display. 
However, it does not support AMD's FreeSync technology unlike Samsung's other high-end TVs. Now, audio quality is another important factor regarding a TV's quality. Samsung's RU7100 has a two-channel speaker with 20-watt output. And for you audiophiles out there, this unit also supports Dolby Atmos. I like the RU7100's audio quality. It gets plenty loud, so it should be enough for a normal-sized room. And the dialogues are pretty clear too, thanks to the dialogue enhancement feature. However, the bass that is produced here is pretty average, so you would want to get a decent soundbar for that. Talking about connectivity, the RU7100 has quite a few input-output ports. It has three HDMIs, two USB, one Ethernet, one digital audio output, to name a few. I also had no problems with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. You can smoothly watch 1080p or 1440p videos on YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime videos, etc. However, pushing the resolution to 4K would result in significant lags and delays, which wasn't a problem with a wired connection. Furthermore, you can use Play Your Phone's audio through the TV with a Bluetooth connection and vice versa. For advanced functionalities, you are required to install Samsung's SmartThings app. Using this, you can turn your phone into a remote too. Additionally, the mirror screen option lets you watch your phone's content on the TV. Also, Livecast allows you to show videos on the TV while recording it on your phone. This can be very useful for remote meetings, video calls, etc. The RU7100 is a smart TV that runs on Samsung's own Tizen OS, so unlike any other Android TV out there, the user experience here is quite unique. The entire design of the UI is fluid while looking very pleasing to the eye and somewhat Samsung-y. Pressing the Smart Hub button on the remote takes you to the home screen or the Smart Hub screen. Its floating UI displays gives access to various apps and the TV's inbuilt functionalities. Here you are greeted with live TV, smart things, gallery, internet and PC options alongside the apps installed. On the left corner of the screen, you can view notifications, change settings, manage video sources, make a search or go to Samsung's App Store. Directly clicking them takes you to intricate settings while there are also quick settings for them that can be accessed by pressing up in the remote. Since this is not an Android TV, everything is supplemented via Samsung's ecosystem of services. Navigating the UI isn't laggy thanks to the UHD processor. Here, the App Store has a clean and familiar design with separate rows for various categories of apps. Among this is the list of downloaded apps as well. While you can delete other apps that you install by long pressing the select button on the remote, the apps that come with the TV like SmartThings, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, etc. can't be uninstalled. Okay, the one remote that comes with the RU7100 is so freaking awesome. It is a 14-key remote with a slim, minimalistic and ergonomic design. Also, the remote gets a decent weight with batteries installed. Now, let's talk buttons. There's a power button to turn the TV on or off. Samsung's voice assistant, Bixby, can be triggered for voice control through its own button. Here, the circular directional pad, though reminiscent of the classic iPod, does not rotate and this is used to navigate while the select button inside is dedicated for making selections. The dedicated back button here has dual functionality, which when long pressed, kills the foreground applications. Volume and channel toggle are facilitated by the respective plastic buttons which can be slid up and down. Also, there are dedicated buttons to launch Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and the internet. Since there is no dedicated keys for typing, it can be a trouble for some. However, the voice control feature works pretty well so if your English is good enough, you shouldn't have that problem. Of course, you can always connect a keyboard and mouse for better navigation. Another thing I liked is that when browsing the internet, the pointer automatically shifts to the nearest clickable area. Thus, you don't need to keep on pressing the button to move from one point to another. The Samsung RU7100 is a great TV, no doubts on that. Uh, the image quality, the ease of use, uh, the design and even the sound quality are very commendable. And as a Samsung 4K smart TV, it is also HDR compliant, so there's actually nothing left to complain. But well, in the end, it also comes down to the money. 
for a much lesser price you get the Panasonic or uh, Yasuda 4K TVs that we reviewed in our Nepali channel like a month ago both of them are 4K Android TVs with functions that are more or less similar to this one but emphasis on the word similar because the Samsung RU7100 ultimately trumps the other two TVs over in terms of functions and overall performance for a price. So, is it worth it? Well, it depends on you. If you want an amazing TV experience, a brand that you trust and don't want to cheap out on things, get the Samsung RU7100. But if you want to save some money, there are plenty of other options available in the market for a good enough 4K smart TV for a much lesser asking price. So that was our review of the Samsung RU7100 55-inch 4K UHD smart TV. Uh, tell us what you think about this device in the comment section below. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I'll see you in the next one.